All right, so what we're going to look at today is opacity and this is a prime candidate for the first thing we're going to look at which is uh, in Unreal it's called opacity mask. Um, in other realms you would know it as uh, alpha test or one bit alpha. Basically this is a simple alpha function where if we look at the wireframe of this Ignore the yellow because that's the sphere in the background. Basically, it's lots of planes. In fact, if we look at it on the model, the wireframe, you can see it's just lots of lots of planes, and essentially the texture that's applied to the top of it um, has an alpha channel, which essentially stencils out some of the stuff, so you can see it, and the rest of the stuff is. And it's completely see through. And I mean, this is common for stuff like bushes, things like that, because, and trees, because basically to model all these leaves individually and do all of that would be um, really expensive. So we put these things on planes and then just arrange them. Um, it's still not cheap because it's basically what you're asking it to do is to draw the plane. And then look up a texture that tells it whether it's see-through or not, and then it determines whether it needs to draw what it needs to draw and what it doesn't need to draw. Imagine something like this, it's got lots of faces up against each other and behind each other. And it has to do that a lot of times, multiple times, that gets quite expensive. So if you've got like dense forests and things like that, they're quite hard, uh, they're quite hard to render, um, or quite hard on frame rate, and can be. So uh, but that's, this is still the easiest form. So how we actually do this, if we jump over to Photoshop, so this is the texture uh, that we were just looking at, and it's basically, you know, the, it's got a diffuse map and there's a normal map as well. Um, if you look in the channels, we've got red, green, blue, and then we've got alpha on the end. Now to create an alpha channel is really easy. You just click on this add layer button, and it will create an alpha channel. And if you draw into this with a that would create an alpha that then you could use. And the black area, if we look at the one that's here, the black area, as you can see, is where it would be see-through, and the white area is uh, opaque. And the reason why it's called 1-bit alpha in other areas and, and alpha test is basically because it is either on or off. Yeah, the test is true or false. Can, it, can you see through me? Yes or no. Um, and that makes it simpler uh, than if you wanted to like create something with a gradient across it. Because if you had something with a gradient, it would be it would have to do you know zero to two five five two hundred fifty six gradients of change, which if you lay lots of things behind each other means every time it has to calculate not only am I see through but how see through am I? So how much can you see the thing behind me? Uh, which you could imagine is a mind melter. Um, so we don't tend to use. So this is a this process doesn't use that. This is a nice. This is the cheap way of doing alpha, and it's the way that if you're going to do alpha using a texture, it's the one you should aim to do the most, um, and not try and blend things if you can. Okay, so let's set this up in Unreal, uh, our own version of this. So. Uh, if I create a new material in here, uh, which I have done already, called leaves, and if we plug in those maps we've already got, uh, so we don't have to make new ones, just to search for them, push, grab them both. And drop them in. Basically, you plug your color into your base color, and you plug your normal into your normal as you would normally. And then we take the alpha, which we created, and we chug that into opacity mask. Now, you can see this is grayed out because basically we can't actually access opacity mask at the minute. Um, the way we do that is if we click on this, uh, we can go down to blend mode, and if we switch it to masked, then it 
opens this up as an option. We now have a texture which is see-through, a material that's see-through. Hit apply. Okay, so if I select my mesh and I uh, apply my leaves to it, then you can see that it does it kind of. Um, you can see if I come off it. You can see bits of it, but other bits you can't. And then they come into view. This is basically because it's one-sided, so you can only see one side of the face. Um, you can change that though in here. If you go down to the uh, where is it? Two-sided. Click on that. Hit apply. And now I've got full leaves. Now, one of the issues you will have, I'm not really going to address now, but you can see it here, is that uh, the back sides are darker than the front sides. Now, in most cases, this is probably what you would want if you were going to make something double sided, but it's generally not what you want on vegetation um, because it, by having the darker side, it just highlights the fact that they're planes even more than the fact that they are planes does. Um, so, we'd need to address that. But I will talk about that when we deal with foliage, which will be later on down the line. Um, so yeah, so that's basically it, that's opacity mask. Um, it's quite simple. It's as as opacity stuff goes, it's relatively cheap. Um, although none of this stuff's particularly cheap. But for things like this or like maybe ornate railings or things like that, then this is the sort of thing you would need to use. Basically it's on or off. That's it. That's all you get. You get no blending. Uh, we'll look at a blended version next.